Here we go. I'm guessing I'm live. I'm live. Hi. <laughs> this is what happens when it's your first video on live Facebook. And soon I'm going to be professional. I don't know when, but it'll be soon. So for you, those of you that don't know me, I'm Kathy Lindert. I am your favorite hypnotist. And for those of you that do know me, hey, how are you? And the reason why I'm on Facebook Live today is because I've been getting a lot of questions about quitting smoking with hypnosis and getting fit. And I would like to answer a lot of questions that people have asked me about hypnosis and quitting smoking and how it works. So first, I just want to let you know that I quit smoking with hypnosis in 1987. And it was a miracle. I mean, because in 1987, everybody smoked. You went into an office, everybody smoked. You went into restaurants, everybody smoked. I mean, I think the only places I didn't see people smoking were in grocery stores or food stores. And um, I mean, everybody smoked. It was, you would go to the mall, it would smoke. I mean, everybody smoked. So when I needed to quit smoking in 1987, because my husband said, me or cigarettes, I had to think for a minute, is Tim worth it? He is because I'm married to him for 32 years. But it was very difficult because there weren't a lot of outlets to go to to quit. So I found out about hypnosis. I really didn't know anything about it. I was scared to say the least because here I am going to get hypnotized. And um, I ended up stopping smoking. In fact, I listened to the recording for three days. It was on a cassette and I would listen to it right before I went to bed. And that was it. I was done. I never smoked again and I didn't miss it. In fact, one night I remember going out with, um, I worked at the time at Merrill Lynch and I went out with my girlfriend, Jan, and we went to um, Bennigan's. It was Bennigan's and she was smoking and I was like, should I try a drag? Do I want to? And I went to go put it near my mouth and I was going to throw up. I literally had to leave the restaurant. I was that nauseous that I knew I was done. That was it. So let me tell you a little bit how hypnosis can help you. What hypnosis does is it works with your subconscious part of your brain. And the reason why it works with your subconscious part of your brain is because your conscious part of your brain has too many questions to ask, too many people that says, maybe we'll do it tomorrow, maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, we will. We got that party. Remember that? Oh, my God. And, and because there's all these voices, your conscious mind kind of says, are we doing it? Are we not doing it? What are we doing? What's going on here? I don't know. I don't negotiate. I am not Monty Hall or I think it's Drew Carey now that plays, let's make a deal. I don't make deals. So when you play with your subconscious mind, your subconscious mind is your magic genie, and it says your wish is my command. Now, what is hypnosis? Hypnosis is like visualization, meditation, a little bit of yoga because you're in that mind, body, spirit, and it just feels great. Can hypnosis make you do silly things? Not if you don't want to. Now, if you ever went to a stage hypnosis place and, you know, the fairs, and they go, okay, you know, clap your hands together and see if you can get them. They're stuck like glue. And you go like this. Guess what? You're not going to be made silly of. When you come to a professional that is there to help you to do what I call alternative medicine, which is quitting smoking, weight loss, things like that, we're not having you barking like a dog or quacking like a duck. In fact, many times I have said to my clients, if hypnosis was that powerful, every bad guy would have it. And we would all be hypnotized and broke and happy, but broke, right? Because they would take all of our money. So it's not that powerful. Some people say, I'm just too strong of a person to get hypnotized. Well, if you daydream, you can be hypnotized. And if you want to relax, you can relax. Do you need to be really deep, as another question, to be hypnotized to make it work? No. If you want to have something done and it feels good in your mind and your body, it connects. It doesn't mean 
that you have to be like, I can't hear anything because I'm hypnotized. No. Majority of the people that I work with say they heard things, they sometimes faded in and out, they got different thoughts, then they came back. But the bottom line is they were successful. So it doesn't really matter if you were really, really, really deep or just kind of lightly hypnotized because the bottom line is if you want to change and you just need to get in here and to say little things like, I'm not going to smoke anymore. Isn't that more important? Now, I'm going to tell you how I work as a practitioner because everybody has their own ways of doing things. When you come to me, whether it's in a group setting or online or in person, I show you how things can be changed really quickly. So let's say, for instance, you smoke. And one of the big triggers in smoking is majority of the people, not all people, but majority of the people smoke in their car. So they get in their car, they put their key in, they light up their cigarette, start their car, and they're ready to drive. Or they might start their car, light their cigarette, and they're ready to drive. The trigger is the car. They're ready to drive home or to work, and this is their time to have a cigarette. So what I would do is I would say, and we can do it right now, okay? You're home, hopefully. And if you're listening to this while you're driving, don't. Don't do what I tell you to do because I'm going to tell you to close your eyes. So I want you to just close your eyes. And I want you to imagine, or even just pretend, that you're getting in your car. And as you get in your car, you turn on the car. And now you listen on the radio to your favorite song. It could be one of your favorite songs from whenever. It doesn't matter. It's your favorite song. And as you're listening to your favorite song, you're dancing and you're singing and who cares if people are looking at you? You're not smoking. That's what matters. It doesn't matter what the rest of the world thinks. Their opinion of you is none of your business, okay? So you're doing, you're singing, you're dancing, you're having a good time. And now every time you get into your car, you get excited because it's like your own little party. You can listen to whatever song you want and you don't smoke. Now open your eyes. How did that make you feel? If it made you feel good, if you were like a little smile on your face, even watching me, okay? But it felt good in your mind and your body. That's a new connection. So what we're doing is we're taking that pathway or that bridge of you getting into the car, lighting the cigarette, getting into the car, lighting the cigarette, right? Now all of a sudden you get into the car and you play music. Get into the car and you start singing. Get into the car and you're looking forward to your next song. Getting into the car and you're playing your albums. Get into the car and you're having a great time. Guess what happens? You're no longer smoking. You're getting into your car and you're having a great time. And that's your way of just getting rid of the rest of the day, the stress, the tension, whatever it is. You don't need it anymore because now you know at the end of the day, boom, you get into your car, you put in your songs. If you don't have a CD player, because now I don't because the new cars don't, I have it on my phone, you know, or I still have my iPod, right? It's called an iPod. So not technical in certain things. And I just, I have my driving songs. I listen to my driving songs and I'm like, I am alive. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I, I have a disco in my car. I'm, I'm one of those. My husband is more of the hard rocker. And the rule of thumb is whoever's driving gets to listen to their music. So um, see how quick that can change you and how you can just kind of be like, yeah, I, I, can, I can do that. That's hypnosis. That's what I do. I come up with new ways and then you put it into a pretty little package. I record it. I send it to you or you just listen to it online. And then next thing you know, you're changing. But the biggest thing is it has to be a mind-body connection. The other thing that we do, let's say for weight loss or getting fit, is we change the way we speak to ourselves because it's really ourselves that is owning it. So even if somebody says something, you could be like, bing, go away. But if we own it, that's when the problem becomes. So for instance, when um, I was talking to a, a woman today 
and she's coming in and it's about weight loss. And she said, you know, I just, I can't stop eating. Well, what did you just give your mind and body? Yeah, what was that message? You can't stop eating? I said to her, well, do you eat while you're sleeping? No. Do you eat all the time? No. I said, well, then you can stop eating. You just choose to not stop overeating. Oh, yeah. See the difference? So if you said to yourself, again, if you're driving, don't close your eyes. But if you're not, close your eyes. And if you decided to say, every time before I eat, I'm going to drink a nice glass of water. And then I'm going to see how hungry I really am because I might be thirsty. And if after I'm done drinking the water a few minutes later, then I will grab myself a healthy snack or a healthy meal. But first is water because water is really good for me. It cleanses out the fat, removes the toxins. But sometimes when I'm thirsty, Thirsty and hunger have the same message. So now I'm going to check it out first and see what happens. Now you can open your eyes. And again, if that's something that makes you feel good, like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to grab a glass of water. I mean, water is all over. You can have a bottle of water in your car, on your desk, in your house, everywhere. There's faucets, there's fountains. You can go anywhere, get some water. Most people, they carry things. Yeah, water. This is an iced tea. I'm now in the South, but it's not sweet iced tea. I just can't do that yet. No, I won't, I won't. Mm. So you drink something. See if you're thirsty. And then you could be like, no, oh, I'm not hungry anymore. It's that easy. So I break it down. I break it down. I show you how we change things. We change our language. We change our mind. And when you change your language, you change your attitude, you change your life. Now, hypnosis also feels like really, really comfortable. Like you kind of, some people say, I feel like I was floating. Some people say I felt like I was really heavy. Some people said I couldn't open my eyes. Some people said I've felt so relaxed. And some people say, I heard every word you said, but yeah, I, I liked it. Everybody has their own reaction. There's not one way that everybody feels when they're hypnotized. So, and if people want to know, yes, I hypnotize myself. Yes, I do it all the time. Because why? Well, I practice what I preach. And I either hypnotize myself, this is a little recorder, and then I turn it into an into, excuse me, an MP3, or I do it on my phone. I have a little audio app and I put it in and I record and boom, done. And then I listen to it. And I listen to it at nighttime right before I go to bed because the last thing that you read, hear, see, think, and do is what your mind and your body works on. So let's make it you. So I hope this little quick session was helpful and that you now understand a little bit better about hypnosis um and how it can help you to change your life for the better and if you have any questions you can always go to my website which is mentaledgellc.com or i will be directing people to my facebook page it's free yay and it's open to whoever wants to come but there will be rules like be nice to each other i won't put up with that and that is quit smoking and get healthy. So I hope you enjoyed this and you will see me again. Enjoy and have a great day or a great evening.